This video is intended for educational purposes only and are not responsible for any problems that may occur while replicating the ideas presented in this video. What's good YouTube is L back for another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to run emulators on your Wii. It's pretty simple. All you're going to need for this is a computer and an SD card with the homebrew channel and the homebrew browser. If you don't have the homebrew browser or the homebrew channel, I'll leave a link in the description to tutorials on how to get both of those. But once you got them, we can go ahead and get started. So the first thing to do is to just hop into the homebrew channel. Once you're in here, go ahead and open up the homebrew browser. Click load. All right, and once it's loaded up, go ahead and go down to emulators. And once you get into emulators, you can just go down to whichever one you want. I'm going to do Sega Genesis, so I'm going to scroll down until I find it. It's kind of laggy and slow in here, but it's all good. So here we go. Uh, Sega Genesis emulator. When you find one, the one you want, go ahead and click on it. Click download. It might take a minute. Once you got it downloaded, you can hit the home menu. You want to click reboot Wii. So once it's finished with all that, you can go ahead and grab your SD card out of your Wii right here, and now we're going to head over to the computer. Alright, so once you're at the computer, go ahead and plug your SD card in, and once you got that, you can go ahead and start getting some ROMs. So an easy way to do this is to hop in the internet, and then just search up some ROMs you want for whatever emulator you got. So for example, I'm going to do Sonic the Hedgehog 2 ROM and type that in and you should get some different results. I'm gonna go to freeroms.com and it's gonna say download in 13 seconds and it'll give me a direct download link. All right, so now you can click direct download, save it to downloads, go ahead and open up the file explorer and depending on what kind of uh, site you get it from, it might be a zip file and it might be the plain ROM, but if you get a zip file, go ahead and right click on it, click extract files, click OK. You can open up the folder and then here's the ROM, so you can just right click on it, click copy, then you want to head over to wherever your SD card is, and then in here, just go over to whatever folder your ROM is in, so right here we have Gem Plus, so let's go to ROMs, Control V, paste that in there and that's gonna finish up and from here all you gotta do is load it up on the Wii so go ahead and head over there all right once you're back at the Wii you can go ahead and plug the SD card back in the slot oh yeah get that right in there and head on to the homebrew channel oh shoot yeah homebrew channel click start once you're in here, it might be on the next page, click next, nope, it is right here, alright, so Genesis, plug, click load, alright, once you're loaded up in here, you should be able to just click load game, and then you can go to, it might be in here, so click Mega Drive, yeah, here we go, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, click it, it's going to load up. And bang, you playing Sonic, my G. So yeah, you can re replicate, replicate. You can replicate this process for any game, and it should be working. And yeah, with that being said, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.